Soldiers from the U.S. Army jump right into the new year alongside Japan Ground Self-Defense Force members during First Jump 2020 in Camp Narashino. This is absolutely incredible and the whole event. So obviously today was the culminating event uh, for a week of interoperability training and partnership with the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Forces and 1st Airborne Brigade and uh, obviously it's preparation on the front end and, and planning so for everything to come together and the weather to cooperate uh, and everybody had a great jump uh, so really uh, a wonderful time for all the paratroopers and of course uh, the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Forces were incredible hosts and they've been uh, very accommodating. The bilateral jump drew thousands of spectators serving as both a prayer for safe airborne operations and celebration of the enduring U.S.-Japan alliance and contingency operation capabilities. Demonstrating that capability and, and being able to interoperate in that type of operation is uh, tremendously important to both of our national interests. And so uh, it was a, a great opportunity to strengthen the bonds and build camaraderie, but also uh, to demonstrate that we can, in fact, mass combat power anywhere uh, we need to. Uh, using uh, airborne operations uh, infiltration techniques. The U.S. Army also participated in the first wing exchange ceremony with JGSDF, cementing the bond between both countries' paratroopers. This is actually the first time that uh, the Japanese Airborne Brigade has been authorized to accept uh, foreign wings, so the fact that we were able to do that today uh, for the very first time in history and present them uh, with our airborne wings, uh, that was an incredible opportunity. And General Kaida said it best that the ceremony is wonderful and to exchange win wings is great, but really it's uh, symbolic of the alliance that we have with the ground self-defense forces here in Japan. Reporting for U.S. Army Japan, this is Henny Nixon.